Hello and welcome to another video. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to uh, geo-reference some more imagery. However, this time I can't be bothered to do the GCPs myself. So I'm just going to try that auto geo-reference button, see how we get on. Okay, there we go. We've got a geo-referencing tab. I've got my imagery selected. I'm using the same coordinate system as last time, so I'm going to fit that to display. See what it looks like. Oh, looking pretty good. Nice bang on there. Uh, let's see if we can move it slightly. And looks like we need to change the scale as well. Looking good. Just move it a little bit more. All right, happy with that. That's nearly good to go. Who needs GCPs, eh? Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to press that auto geo reference button uh, located up here. That's going to put the GCPs in or the ground control points in using the software. And it's just going to reference those with that background imagery we can see, which is Esri's world imagery. So let's give it a go. Okay, I'll pause the video now and unpause it when it's finished. Okay, that's the process finished. Uh, it seemed to take about three minutes. Uh, you can see it's put GCPs in a couple of places, three distinct areas. I think it's got a total of seven uh, ground control points in total that it's put in. Just looking at it straight away, you can see the results not perfect. Um, we can see the RMS errors sitting at 34, which is uh, far bigger than the error I had yesterday, even with my pretty shoddy GCP placement. Uh, and then if we look at the control point table, we can see yet yeah, seven GCPs and the residual sitting at between 16 and 45, so pretty big. And that's probably a result of um, this reference imagery just not matching our raw imagery in terms of pixel size, etc. So not a great result. However, this shows why it's always worth checking your results, both the error and you need to just have a look at have a look at the result of any process you run in GIS and really see um, has it worked or has it not. Okay, uh, thanks for listening. If you've got any comments, leave them in the comments below. Like the video, share it with anyone you think it will be useful. Uh, and look forward to the next video. Thank you.